Now I'd like to share a story about Nathan. Now Nathan was somewhat of an aspiring programmer, he just didn't realize it yet. Uh, Nathan was in a, a daycare that he was uh, working at and uh, he had the uh, aspirations of being a teacher someday. He went and got a, a degree and, and well, you know, his life plan was to become a teacher, uh, but it was very, very difficult to get that first job. And uh, one day over drinks, Nathan and I were sitting down and chatting and uh, he was so frustrated by uh, his lack of uh, the job that he saw himself in for his future. Uh, and he wanted to learn a, bit, a little bit more about what I did, which was programming. Um, he said, you know, Trevor, tell me about this programming thing. Tell me about uh, what, what it is that you do on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, you know, he, he just wanted to learn more about, uh, G well, programming in general, but Java specifically, because that's what I specialized in. So I told him more and more about, uh, you know, some of the stuff that I do on a day-to-day -day basis. I told him about the upsides of being a programmer, the, you know, wonderful, um, you know, benefits that you get, the cool work perks, the great salary, that kind of thing. And uh, he was enamored. He said, well, tell me more. You know, what is, what is all this, what does it take to be a programmer? So I taught, taught, uh, taught him a little bit about object-oriented programming. I talked about what an object is and how they can relate to each other, etc., etc. And uh, I saw his eyes getting wider and wider. And he was like, okay, you know, I understand that. That doesn't seem that, that difficult. And um, so we left uh, after, you know, that little evening together. And, uh, and he was really quite motivated. And the next day he said, you know what, I think... I want to pursue a career as a programmer. You know, do you think I, I have what it takes? And I sort of said, well, you know, if you like it, if you feel like this is something that you could do, that's really the most important part. If you really feel like this is something that you want to do and you want to pursue and it seems, you know, legitimately interesting to you, then go for it. So uh, he went off and, uh, you know, he, he, you know, kept, kept uh, keeping in touch with me in terms of getting my advice on things like, you know, should I pursue a degree versus self-taught versus this versus that. Um, he chose to go the college route. He, he went for, uh, I think it was a three-year degree, and um, he only got two years in before I sort of said to him, okay, I think you might have enough already to get a job. And uh, he hadn't yet completed the full degree, um, but he went out and, and on my advice, he started doing a bit of job searching, and sure enough, he got a company that called him back and, uh, you know, for an interview. And I said, that's great, go for it. And uh, this is during his summer off between school years. And uh, so he went and did the interview and, uh, and lo and behold, they gave him a job offer. And, I, and he, was, he was worried. He was like, well, I haven't finished the school thing yet. And I said, Nathan, the first job is the most important one. Once you get the first job under your belt, so to speak, and you get the experience from the first job, you know, maybe at least a year in, you can pretty much get a job anywhere. So I said, forget school, take the job, you won't need school again, stop going into debt for that, just take the job. So he, he'd my, he heeded my advice, if that's the right word, and he took the job, and he's been programming ever since. Um, couldn't be more proud of the kid. So again, a career as a programmer is absolutely incredible. The salaries that they give to you, the perks that these companies will give to their employees in order to attract talent are incredible. Um, you know, benefits, that all those things are, are great, but also the work itself can be actually quite rewarding. The process of seeing a problem in front of you, working through that problem, solving it at the other end, and seeing the benefits of your solved uh, solution going out there and being used by real people in the real world, it's a thrill. It's something that is so fulfilling, at least for me and for Nathan as well. Um, it's, it's crazy that we can get paid to do this stuff. The problem is it's it's fairly challenging to learn how to do this stuff. It's challenging to learn how to code. It's very difficult to land that first job that I was talking about, that most important step in the process of becoming a programmer who gets paid. It's quite difficult to achieve that stuff. And sure, there's free tutorials online, there's YouTube, there's podcasts, there's you know cheap courses that you get from places like Udemy and who knows right? And the thing of the matter, the fact of the matter is, if all it took was learning and having access to free information, everyone would be a coder. Everyone would have succeeded by now, 
okay? The fact of the matter is it takes more than that, okay? Life gets in the way. You might be in a situation where you, you know, start to learn how to code, you download an IDE or something, and then it crashes, it doesn't work. Um, you, you try to set up your first program and it just keeps giving you errors that you don't understand how to solve. Or maybe, you know, you start creating programs, but you get stuck in a bug and, and you just say to yourself, okay, let me put this down for now, I'll get back to it, okay? Life gets in the way, that kind of thing. And what happens for a lot of people is they never get back to it. They let it slide. Um, or maybe they go through the whole process of getting a university degree or you know, going through endless different educational platforms uh, and they just can't get that interview. Or maybe they keep getting rejected when they get into those interviews, right? It's hard to get that first job. And sometimes you know, we'll be learning stuff and we might scratch our heads and say, well, is this stuff I'm learning out of date? Is this just not the right thing that I should be putting my time into? Am I wasting my time? Okay, I remember all these feelings and I know Nathan had all these exact same feelings. But for Nathan, he had me by his side. And this is where the Coders Campus Boot Camp comes in. You'll have me by your side. And if you don't know already who I am, hi, <laughs> my name is Trevor Page. I've been programming with the Java programming language for about 17 years now, actually over 17 years, since about 2002. I've actually been coding professionally for over 10 years, and I've already interviewed hundreds of potential programming candidates for different organizations. I'm very, very uh, tied into the ecosystem of coding and, and careers. I'm actually so passionate about programming, I've dedicated now my entire life to it in terms of also teaching programming. So I've been teaching people how to code for I think over six years now, and I've helped reach millions of coders out there and help them uh, to learn the Java programming language. I've published two books on the topic, one on Java and one on SQL, and uh, I've actually attracted the attention of both Google and Amazon who reached out to me personally to invite me uh, to go interview with those corporations uh, in order to, you know, obviously fill some programming roles. I was honored to go through that process and holy cow, is it a cool process. But for me personally, the intersection of teaching people how to code and actually coding myself are, are sort of the sweet spot that I find myself in in the present day. So that's why I'm putting together this Coders Campus Bootcamp. So in this bootcamp, I'm going to lay out exactly what it is that you need to know to get that coveted first job as a programmer. Or alternatively, if you're not looking for a job and you're looking to land freelancing clients, I know exactly how to do that as well. But the first foundational step is you need to understand how to code. And that's something that I am quite gifted at bringing to the table. I'm here to help you learn exactly what it is that you need to know, exactly what it is that employers and potential clients want you to know in order to help you succeed in your career and not waste your time and all the rest of the fluff that you might get if you go through something like, who knows, a formal education system or, you know, not, not to trash that, but, you know, there's a lot of stuff that you uh, don't have to learn, but that you end up learning that you'll never use in your entire life. I know I can speak from experience because uh, I went through the formal education system and that really didn't do me a lot of good when, you know, I was finally faced with my first real programming job. So as a part of this boot camp, I'm going to be bringing uh, modules worth of lessons to you every single week that you can go through in your own time, evenings, weekends, what have you, uh, and then actually challenge you with assignments at the end of the week, or maybe every other week, depending on uh, the workload for those weeks. Uh, so you'll go through the lessons, you will complete the assignments, and then you will submit the assignments. I'm gonna hold you accountable to completing the lessons and completing the actual assignments. I'm gonna know exactly if you watched the lessons or you didn't, and I'm going to know exactly if you obviously submitted the assignments. Um, so I'm gonna hold you accountable to doing that. So you have me on your side to give you the kick in the butt that you need to actually stick to it and finish the actual boot camp and finish uh, or walk through that finish line where you can actually get to the point where you are qualified to land your for first paying job or paying client, depending on which you prefer. And uh, through those assignments and the lessons, I'm going to review the code uh, that you create, especially through the assignments, um, personally. I'm gonna go through each of the assignments and I'm going to give you my feedback on what I see is good, what I see is bad, what you should keep doing, stop doing, that kind of thing. And uh, that's gonna really help you to grow quickly. This is just like how Nathan had it. Nathan had me on his, uh, by his side in order to guide him through these kinds of intricate details. 
Now, uh, when I give you these uh, code reviews, this is going to help you to uh, fix any bad habits that you might find yourself getting into. I know what uh, good code is in the industry and I know what bad code is in the industry. I've had my sh fair share of both and I've written my fair share of both too. You know, timelines and whatnot will cause you to uh, create bad code. But we're here in a, uh, it's going to be a long boot camp. It's going to be six months long, which is one of the longest ones that I've seen on the market. It's going to be an online boot camp. Okay, so you're going to be able to do this if you have a full-time job already, like I said, evenings and weekends, uh, or even if you don't have a full-time job, uh, then you can go fairly quickly and get lots of feedback and quick feedback from me personally. Okay, so there's going to be a lot of uh, personalized attention as much as I possibly can put into this. You're going to get uh, access to a private Slack group. So for you and your colleagues or your uh, co your boot campers, let's call them, uh, you'll be able to uh, get in touch with each other. Um, I'll, I'll absolutely encourage pair programming if you want to pair up together and work on these assignments. I love pair programming. I'm a, I am a proponent of it. Or if you prefer to work on your, uh, on your own, that's perfectly fine as well. I'm not going to force you into something you don't want to do. And um, in the Slack channels, this is where you can get rapid feedback. So if you hit a problem, you can post a screenshot of your code, of your error. You can post a video if you like. You can do whatever you like in order to get help from both the community and myself. I'm going to be in there every single day helping you out as much as I possibly can because that's the real benefit to having me on your side is that quick feedback loop for helping you get unstuck whenever it is uh, you might get stuck. And I sh assure you that is going to happen in the world of learning how to code. It's difficult. Also, at the end of every single week, we're going to hop on a live call together. It's going to be a group call with as many or as few of the uh, fellow boot campers, if you will, um, as many as they uh, wish to join, it's going to be a group call. And this is where we can talk about whatever it is that you guys want to talk about. Um, if you're getting stuck on something specific, if everyone's having you know problems understanding something, if you would like career advice, if you'd like whatever it is, if you need help uh, you know, sharing screens and working on a specific bug, um, it doesn't really matter. The world or the sky is the limit here. Um, I'm here to help you out. This is considered like an office hours type thing. So it'll be a live call every single week. I'm probably thinking Sunday evenings because most people tend to be available then. Um, but right now that's what uh, I'm feeling is going to be like the best time slot where I can really help you guys out uh, directly and via a, a live video call. Also, uh, at the end of the boot camp, we're going to have a final project. So by the time the end comes around, we're going to have a lot of uh, time to really focus deep on that project that you can then put into your portfolio and submit to uh, potential employers. As I've said in past uh, videos in this particular series um, or podcast, whatever the case may be, um, I've, I've spoken about the importance of having projects that you can put into your portfolio. And this is going to be sort of the, um, uh, you know, this is where the spotlight is going to be on this project. You'll spend a lot of time on this and get a lot of help from me and hopefully other uh, members of the boot camp. And then while we're finishing up that final project and we're tailing out into the end of the six month boot camp, this is where things are going to switch and we're going to start talking about the future, which is your uh, career ahead of you as either a fully employed programmer or as a freelancing uh, programmer, whichever the case may be for yourself and your desires. Uh, we'll flip into how you can best um, land that next step. Okay, that's usually the hardest step. For programmers, it's it's very difficult to learn. It's even more difficult to land that first client or get that first paying job. And that's where, again, I am here to help support you. So this is going to be a lot of work. This is going to be learning essentially all five pillars. If you've watched or listened to my previous uh, tutorials in this particular uh, series of videos and, and podcasts that I'm putting out, uh, you're going to learn essentially everything you need to be a full stack uh, Java web application developer. Okay, we're going we're gonna to touch on all the aspects and make sure that you are armed with all the tools that you could possibly need um, for landing that job, that career, that freelancing client. So what would that be worth to you? What is a full-time uh, employed salary paid programmer worth to you? What is uh, you know, client after client after you know, freelancing client actually worth to you, right? This is the rest of your, this is the rest of your life that you could be putting towards uh, making 
cool stuff and getting paid to do it and having fun along the way. Okay, most boot camps range anywhere on the low end of eight thousand all the way up to sometimes fifteen or twenty thousand dollars. You know, college educations, uh, you know, probably start at ten thousand and go all the way up to fifty thousand dollars, right? Um, so these things get expensive. This boot camp, since this is like the first time I'm doing this, I'm going to keep myself on the low end, but I'm going to make it a long process. So with investment of eight thousand dollars. Over the course of six months, you're going to be getting everything that I talked about already. A full stop, um, you know, one stop shop when it comes to everything you need to know about how to code and getting that coveted first job or that coveted first freelancing client. And I'm so confident in that statement that I'm actually putting a guarantee on it. I'm guaranteeing that you are going to get a job or a freelancing client, again, whichever you prefer, uh, within six months of graduating from the boot camp. If you do not, for some reason, get a job or get the freelancing client, then I'm going to continually work with you. I'm going to put you through the boot camp again. I will keep on working my network uh, of recruiters and, and friends and who knows, family, anything that I could possibly do to get you that job at no extra cost to you. We're actually currently in the process of contacting and building relationships with like the top 200 recruiters across the entire globe when it comes to hiring for, uh, you know, IT related fields and, and whatnot. So we're building those relationships and these people are very excited and actually already chomping at the bit to get access to you. If you are going through this boot camp, if you are accepted into this boot camp, they already want you. So this is really, really exciting. And this is why I'm confident enough to put, uh, you know, the money where my mouth is, which is to guarantee this final end result of you getting either a, a, a you know, freelancing uh, client or an actual paid position uh, with some sort of employer somewhere around the world. Now, again, I stress and I will sweeten the deal how confident I am around this guarantee that I'm actually not going to ask for $8,000. I'm only going to ask for $5,000 of those dollars up front as an investment, and that will be for the boot camp itself. And the rest, the $3,000 remaining balance, will only have to be paid once I actually get you that paying client or that job. So that 100% incentivizes me to make sure that you get exactly what you want out of this program. And I know for some of you, even $5,000 sounds like a lot of money because obviously it is. Um, and what I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to be offering also a payment plan. So a way that you can pay that, uh, you know, in chunks uh, such that you don't have to pay it all up front. And uh, but, you know, stay tuned for details on that. I'm working out all the, the logistics. So just know there will be some way for you to uh, pay it in installments such that you don't have to come up with that, you know, sum of money all up front today. So if that sounds like it's of interest to you, I invite you to go to bootcamp dot coderscampus.com to apply to this bootcamp. Again, bootcamp.coderscampus.com to apply to this bootcamp. Now be warned, I'm only going to be accepting 15 students into this bootcamp, okay? And I'm only accepting 15 students because I want to make sure that every single one of these students gets my utmost attention. I do not want this to be an over full, over packed boot camp where you reach out to me and never hear from me. Okay. I am trying to provide uh, the best environment I possibly can to make this the most um, promising and the most fulfilling and uh, the most useful boot camp that you've ever gone through. Uh, again, such that you can actually come out the other end as a programmer who gets paid. All right. So again, if that sounds good to you, I invite you to apply to this boot camp. Uh, the application process to, should take about 15 minutes, so make sure you have at least that much time. And please give as many, uh, as detailed of answers as you possibly can. Be very detailed in all of your answers uh, because I'm going to be going over all these applications with a fine tooth comb and I'm going to be narrowing it down to the top 15 applicants. So take your time, uh, you know, be as genuine as, as you can and as truthful as you can when you're filling out this application. And uh, I look forward to seeing you on the inside. So as always, take care of yourself. Happy learning. And I look forward to seeing your application soon.